excited about Bullet Train since I first heard about it. This movie, I think, has all the right pieces. It's got Brad Pitt in his first ever action, straight up action movie. David Leitch is behind the camera. It's a star studded cast. I'm really excited. However, I'm surprised with this first still for the trailer to see Brad Pitt, I believe for the first time ever, not looking his absolute best. And he's just coming off of two of the best movies and performances of his career, Ad Astra and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, for which he won an Oscar for acting. Uh, he won his first Oscar for producing for 12 Years a Slave. A uh, great producer, so prolific behind the scenes. Just really, you know, diversify your portfolio. But, you know, he looked amazing in those movies. You know, I, I thought that was really cool that he, he was, you know, he wasn't losing a step. So it just goes to show you that you just can't ever take your eye off the ball. And I think that the hair and makeup team really let him down here. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I do like his glasses. <laughs> and the bucket hat, is bucket hat is very Johnny Depp. All right, so let's, let's see how this trailer looks. Here we go. I'm excited. I'm very excited. In the looks very Kill Bill. Hi. There's a gun on Shh, run. It's the choir car. <laughs> God, he's just going inside voice in here, son. There's a gun. This is very Brad Pitt. <laughs> Not at all what I expected. Talk to me. I am ready. You are getting the new and improved me. Because if you put peace out in the world, you get peace back. I think you might be forgetting what you do for a living. Take the gun. Every job I do, somebody dies. I'm not that guy anymore. Some conflicts require a gun. Bullet trains are really cool. Hey, movie, you have a great cast. Hey, this is nice. Show it off. It is very nice. Okay, what am I snatching and or grabbing? A briefcase. You said you wanted simple for your first job back. It doesn't get simpler. She looks great. The hair and makeup team did her justice. You stab me? <laughs> I appreciate the humor. Ruin your life the way you ruin mine. Dude, I don't even know you. There's nothing simple about this job. Something else going on here. Yeah, I'm not the only one on this train looking for this case. <laughs> mm. Where's the briefcase? Oh, it's not shit. It was just it. We are right on schedule. Everything that's ever happened to you. This is gonna sting, bitch! Oh. I'll let you hear. Fate. Well, that's a shit deal. Oh, no, thank you. You know what? Do you have uh, anything sparkling? That's the one. Thank you. Don't worry about it. He looks great there. You sure you want to talk this out? Not particularly, no. Hit him with it, hit him with it, yeah! <laughs> Exclusively in movie theaters. That was a weird end credit thing. Uh, just to make it more surreal. You know, Aaron Taylor Johnson supposedly did such a good job in this movie, this is the whole reason that he got the Craven gig. Because the head of Sony, who apparently had never heard of him before he saw the the dailies for this movie was like, that guy's a star. And no one had the heart to tell him that other people had tried and failed. But you know, I like Aaron Taylor Johnson, so I feel he should get as many chances as, as he can get. Uh, it's John Wick. It's just clearly David Leach who did John Wick uh, with Chad Stahelski and, and David Leach. They, do, they, they parted ways and Chad Stahelski has stayed with John Wick, which of course has a chapter four coming. And David Leach went on to do a lot of more high-profile projects, uh, which did pretty well, uh, but he hasn't really found his thing. So he's decided to make a competing John Wick with another actor, uh, another older actor doing a, a, an action movie, which has become a thing, which is awesome. I've enjoyed many of them. Uh, and I think that to, to Brad Pitt's credit, 
He's not doing an obvious take on John Wick. Although the color scheme is very what Chad Stahelski did for the John Wick later movies. I'm like, ah, just uh, Chad Stahelski did that first. But they're pals, so he and David Leach, so I'm sure he's fine with it. But, you know, more comedy, uh, quirkier, and so that's good. Because you don't want it to be exactly like John Wick. But it's very similar. I'd say it's John Wick meets Kill Bill with Brad Pitt being silly. And that sounds, that sounds good to me. I have to, I don't know how commercial this is, uh, but I'll, I'm excited about it. And Joey King, by the way, looks fantastic. Good for her. Way to upgrade for the movies. She looks great. I think this could be a big launching pad for her after doing, what was it, like really well on Netflix? With like the Kissing Booth movies, right? Those are her thing. Um, she looks ready to move up to the big leagues. So how does it look to you? And what do you think of uh, Brad Pitt? What do you think of Aaron Taylor Johnson? Are you as impressed as the head of Sony? Uh, I'm excited. Uh, right here, th- and what do you think of it compared to John Wick? Uh, John Wick's been pushed to next year, so uh, that gives both of them a little bit of breathing room. All right, share your thoughts down below, subscribe today, and of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.